Hyperbaric oxygen, obviously it's all about oxygen, oxygen being under pressure, it's this gas. But in addition to oxygen, there's all these other gases, these compounds, which are gases that surround us, whether they're environmental gases or gases inside of our body, that are completely overlooked, yet critically important in our health and well-being. And these gases could be looked at as therapeutic agents that we could be using on our side to really move the needle and improve our health for the long term. So some of these gases are environmental gases like oxygen and nitrogen. You know, nitrogen, although most people assume it's inert, nitrogen, especially in a hyperbaric environment, may have a tremendous amount of therapeutic value. Reactive nitrogen species is a cell signaling molecule that would stimulate healing, growth, repair, and regeneration, of course, in the right amounts. Oxygen, as you know, is the fuel for your mitochondria. We also use oxygen, like with ozone, as a oxidizing agent. And so it has oxidizing qualities, cell signaling qualities, and it has fuel qualities for energy production. Carbon dioxide is a vasodilator. So could we use carbon dioxide to improve vasodilation, to maybe help reduce some amount of blood pressure, maybe to improve red blood cell carrying efficiency? We could also use carbon dioxide therapeutically to help improve our carbon dioxide tolerance. What about hydrogen? As hydrogen is also playing this role of reducing agent, it literally is a selective antioxidant. And so hydrogen is a very interesting and very reactive molecule in our body, but can be used therapeutic in so many different ways. And lastly is nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a chemical that our body releases, also a vasodilator. And in that vasodilator, it actually has effects on the vascular system, on the immune system, but specifically on the inflammatory side of the immune system, and also has effects on our neurological system. 